guys, what's up? Welcome back to a Funky Food Friday video here at Big John TV. Thanks for tuning in. We're all about food, family, and fun. That's how we roll. And on Fridays, occasionally, we like to get funky with food. Now, this is a recipe that I saw on TikTok. TikTok's a love or hate place. I get it. I understand it. I get a kick out of it. The videos are short, sweet, and to the point. Uh, we do have a lot of content that we put on there as well. So if you don't follow us there, you probably should. That being said... I saw a recipe on TikTok that I knew I had to do right away as soon as I saw it. And I knew it was going to be a Funky Food Friday video because it's pretty darn funky. Now, funky, the definition of funky for us is just weird, abnormal, gross sounding, odd looking, all in that realm. That's what we're going to do. You see chips here on the table. You see a pot of boiling water on that side. Do you know where I'm going with this? Do you see what's going to happen? Can you guess right now? Do you think it's possible to go from this to this? I saw it. I saw it on TikTok and I'm going to do it now. Let's get cooking. It's really this simple. This is a party size bag, 13 ounces, classic Lay's potato chips. That is a pot of boiling water. You know what I like to I used to like to do with these when I was a kid? Normal potato chips, open the bag, drizzle in some mustard, close the bag, toss them about, eat them that way. That was a really good method. FYI. Um, comment down below your favorite flavor potato chips. Are you a plain fan? Or do you like the other odd flavors? Or the barbecue or sour cream and onion? Anyway, let's get cooking. This is a big bag. It's gonna go in the water. You want to get as many in there as you can because it's going to cook down. So that's why we have two bags. We weren't sure what it was actually going to take. So we're going to soak these. We're going to boil these potato chips. We're going to cook them down. Now, the TikTok video we saw, the originator, he salted the water before the potato chips went in. I did not agree with that idea and that theory because if you know potato chips... There's tons of salt to begin with. I'll wait and I'll add it at the end if I need to. I don't want it to be crazy salty. All right, so they're gonna go in the water and they're gonna just sit in that jacuzzi. You're gonna stir them around. You're gonna make sure that there's nothing hiding on the bottom. Fully saturated, fully soaked. No crunchy bits hiding in there. So this is the point where you can decide to add more or not. Um, you know what, let's do like half a bag. Because these are going to come down into the meat. And I've found that if you're going to do something and you think it's a bad idea, you might as well just go all in and do it. And like, because if I never ever do this again, then, you know, at least I tried. That feels like a good amount. So then make sure all that new batch is fully saturated in that water as well. If it's sticking up like that on its own, it's not it's, it's not soggy enough. Uh, we're going to just stir, 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 mix, mix, mix until they start breaking down and leaving their original form and their original shape. So it's just going to turn into a bowl of potato mush. All right, so as you can see, mostly mush. There's some pieces in there. All right, so we're gonna take these and we're going to strain them now. This part's gonna get hot and I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Should we put a towel down underneath like this to keep them sliding? And if it splashes, we don't make a mess. I don't wanna get burnt either. So can you ensure my safety? Okay, turn this burner off. Okay, this burner is off. I'm gonna slide, uh, you pick up the pan. Okay, I'm pan is up. Slide it out of the way. I, I, this may not go good. Do it, you got it. All right, ready? Ew, that sounded horrible. All right, now that they're loaded in here, then what do I do? Grab your mixing bowl. Mixing bowl. 
Gonna pick him up out of here, let yes, the water drain and off. I'll take the water bowl from you. Okay. I would assume that you want to get this fairly dry. The drier you get it, the better. Otherwise, they'll be kind of soupy. Save that water. We're going to do potato chip shots when we're done. The guy in the original video did. Did he? Yeah. I'll do it. I'll get the kids to do it too. Ew. I'll have to pay him, but. This, oh, it smells really good. Ew. Ew. All right, how far do I go? Um, here, do this. Put it on this one, let it set for a minute. Okay. And hold that bowl up. Like, this water is so milky. That's so much potato remnants in there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it smells fantastic. Hand me that one. Okay, we need some shot glasses or small cups. Well, this is too hot to do anything with right now. Oh, no, I'll shoot it right now. Oh, you'll die. All right, we've made the, the work environment a little bit safer. There's nothing burning now. Um, this has got had some time now to strain a little bit more, or to drain, I should say. Uh, we're going to take it. We're going to go into this vessel now. I am going to immediately add, uh, that's about two tablespoons of butter. Is that right? Give or take. Boom. And then to put a little bit of Big John twist to this, that's about maybe quarter cup of crumbled cooked up bacon into the pot. Almost forgot. Gotta get some shredded cheese in there. That's about like, oh, yay much. You put it in, much just like that. Now, you're gonna stir it up. Don't destroy it though while you're stirring it. You wanna mix it without beating it all up. I do have some heavy whipping cream here on standby, but I want to see the consistency before I add more liquid. If I don't need it, I'm not going to add it. See, now that we've added bacon and cheese, the fact that we omitted salt at the beginning is probably wise. Like, if you mush it down enough. Still a bit runnier than I would typically serve potatoes as. For sure. But I think that's it. Like, I'm not going to add this at all. Nope. I definitely don't want it any thinner or any runnier. I mean, if I let it sit there and strain more water out for a little bit longer, it probably would have been better. I probably should have scooped it around in there to, to release some more water all right i think that's as good as it's gonna get do you want more cheese i don't think so do you need more bacon i don't you think so you don't have any anyway do you need more anything no am i gonna you know what let's 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 do this like civilized people we're not gonna eat right out of the container gosh um yeah, i missed yes. This isn't a good serving. It's not a serving no. utensil. This is like potato soup. This is like baby food. All right. You ready for this? Yeah. Let me smell it. it smells like potato. It smells like um, instant potatoes. It's got like that slightly fakiness to it. It's really hot, oh, hey, by the way. Crap. Dude, you didn't even hesitate on yours. Oh, you did. Ah, oh, so hot. So hot. Um, you want to know what's weird? I don't hate it. That doesn't actually taste half bad. Now, at this point, it actually could use some salt. And it could bit. use some pepper. It could use some sour cream and some green oh, onions. It could use a little bit of cooling down, too. Mm -hmm. That was so hot. Realistically, this is not bad. It's got a good flavor. But what I'm going to say that is bad 
is that that bag of chips was four dollars and thirty cents so two bags eight dollars and sixty cents I can buy a pound of potatoes for like three dollars or so right or I mean like a ten pound bag of potatoes right or instant a box of instant for like a couple bucks it burns your the mouth. whole left side of my tongue shot so like this isn't the cheapest way to do it it's kind of creative it's interesting it's odd it's weird it's funky but it actually at the end of the day it actually works a couple things i could tweak to make it even better but it doesn't taste horrible this is this is so weird i was afraid it would taste like the smell of the oil on the chips but i don't get that no. i think that all boiled off yeah i'm gonna see if i can't get a kid in here to eat all right it's gonna be hard it's gonna be difficult all right so maddie's willing to try i don't know if jamie will which i'm not surprised by um can you tell oh, it's disgusting can you tell everybody in your life how much you love mashed potatoes i love mashed potatoes she's hated mashed potatoes her whole life and it's just been the past year or so baked potatoes mashed potatoes were on your no list but now you love baked you're okay with mash i just don't prefer it so try these ones and they'll be on your new list on your yes list so there's bacon there's cheese and there's butter it's really really hot so take a little nibble make sure you get a little piece of bacon in there you also like oatmeal so this is kind of like oatmeal she does not like oatmeal oh then this is nothing like oatmeal it's hot be careful it's like crazy stupid hot mm -mm. that's gross <laughs> wait, wait but why is it gross to you what, texture scoot over the texture is real bad would you for an extra 20 thumbs up and a dollar would you take a shot no. of potato chip water nope. with me absolutely not <laughs> um is this funky yes very is it complete garbage mm, almost but not see that's a win then on a funky food friday video if it's not complete garbage i call that a win I would count the rest of the chips. Maybe. Bye. That works. It it's not bad. I'm surprised. This was odd. This was funky. Um, I'm going to ask you, is this something you would try? Would you take a bite of this or would you turn your nose and run? Surprisingly, would I do this again? No. Will, will I eat more of this? Yes. <laughs> I'm not going to waste a whole bag of chips. I'm going to have some more bites. I think it works. It is horribly funky, borderline disgusting, but it's here and it's worth trying. What's that? It's hot. This is the water. I think you'll burn yourself and die. Oh, you said that? Uh... Yeah, I can't do that. It's too hot. She held me to it. She brought me a shot of the potato chip water. You said you wanted But it. nobody's going to do it with me. Oh, that's like, oh, that's like straight oil. GoPro's done. I'm done. I'm not going to finish that shot. It's mostly oil. That's gross. Um, potato chip, mashed potatoes. It actually works. You can actually do it. It's not cost effective. It's weird. It's borderline gross. But it works. So I think I've earned a thumbs up for my awesome cooking skills today. Make sure you do that, please. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell so you get alerted when we post all of our content, I was going to say all of it, but then I'm like, well, YouTube doesn't really do that very well. So just come hang out with us. Stick with us. Thanks for watching. Follow us on all the social medias as well. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. See you.